So we are talking about America's 10 best states for getting a job in the AI boom. My name is Rami Pruitt. I am a software engineer at a fame company, all things software. I've graduated from Fisk, Cornell. Uh, I'm going to keep it real. I'm an expert. And so today we are getting into this article. If you already have followed me and seen some of my videos and my thoughts on on moving to a city in order to get a tech job, you will know that I am highly in favor of moving to a different city. Because me, I come from Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee is not known for software engineers. And because of that, guys, like I have thought being a software engineer was impossible for me. I thought it was something for geniuses. And I never wanted to even think of myself in that capacity. And it was only until I met another software engineer that was black that I felt that I was ready or I could see myself in this path. And so going to cities, seeing black people, seeing other software engineers, we want to help you. We want to have people that we can say that we helped in our career. And if you are not around us, we cannot help you. We are not gonna go out of our way to help you. And so I, I, cannot, I cannot stress this enough, guys. I think it's worth the loneliness. I can tell you guys, I live in Seattle right now. And this thing here called the Seattle Freeze, which is like, the Seattle natives don't really treat, tra I think they call them transplants, so I might be wrong about that. They don't really treat the newcomers that friendly, and that's okay. Like, um, do I have trouble making friends? Somewhat. Uh, still, I think what I have gained in my one year of being here has been more bear more fruit from my career than any other uh all the rest of my years even when i was at twitch which is insane like when i was at twitch i was working remotely so i didn't get to talk with engineers after work i didn't have such a culture and because of that it was harder to ask for help so that may be <laughs> a little bit of out of context but let's get into the article <laughs> And let's pull up that. America's 10 best states for getting into jobs in AI booms rather than being replaced by it. Let's not get replaced. How big of a deal is artificial intelligence? Russell Wall, Deputy Director of Stanford Institute of Human Centered Artificial Intelligence, likes it to the printing press. The technology is a general purpose technology that is going to affect everyone and everywhere, he said. The mere fact that Stanford has a whole institute devoted to AI is a statement. Wall says, other institutes at Stanford consider such a lofty subject of neuroscience, foreign policy, and public affairs. He it said it's appropriate to consider AI in a similar way. It requires a broad mandate and an important viewpoint for a variety of stakeholders to ensure that we are getting all the key aspects of this. He said, given the enormity of the field, it makes sense that some states are jockeying to lead it. Because of that, for the first time, CNBC is factoring several AI metrics into the year's Americans' top states for business rankings. This year's, this year's methodology considers AI as a part of the technology and innovation category, as well as the business friendliness category at the time when the emerging industry has a love of hate relationship with the regulation. I think they want to be regulated until they don't, Walt says. This is kind of boring. <laughs> For now, some of the biggest AI players in AI are crying out for at least some direction from legislators and policymakers as companies take their place in the new AI world. We need a broad-based effort across governments, companies, universities, and more to help translate technology breakthroughs into spread widespread benefit while mitigating risk. Bro Kent Walker, president of the Global Affairs for Google and his parent company Alphabet in a blog post last fall. He called for the policies that nurture AI development alongside safeguards like privacy laws occur misuse. At the same time, some in the industry worry about states becoming too aggressive. We are already tracking over 420 bills at the state level just related to AI. That's crazy. 
said Lin Linda Moore, CEO of industry lobbying group TechNet, in a May interview with Semaphore. I don't know any of that. <laughs> Many of the bills she said are understandable related relating things, deep fakes, pornograph uh, pornograph uh pornography, pornogra <laughs> pornogra <laughs> pornograph pornograph. Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce that word today. <laughs> others state others take a broader approach that she said should be left to the federal government. Creating a patchwork of state AI regulations is not a best interest of anybody. Just so you know my stance, I think I'm more I, I would like more AI regulation. I would like to see things go a lot more slow. But I understand that this is also the AI races could decide a lot of who's the next global leader of the world. So it's a, it's a catch 22. To capture the state of AI across the states, we rely heavily on data from 2024 edition of Stanford Institute AI Index Report, which the Institute has published annually since 2018. The port report includes data on AI related jobs where they are where employees are hiring. It looks like AI innovation, particularly where AI models are being developed, which states are taking the lead in the AI regulations. We supplement the regulatory data with information from National Conference of the State Legislators. We looked at which states have brain power based on labor department data on science, technology, engineering, and math, employment by states, data from a top 500 org, helped us measure computing power, crucial to moving AI to the next level and beyond. Go ahead and put where you think is number one. I'm gonna say without looking at this, I think probably Seattle, Texas, uh, Washington, Seattle, Texas, New York, California, probably gonna be in the top four. But it takes a lot of computational resources, data source and talent wall says, a field this is new, so dynamic and also encompassing, difficult to precisely measure, but in early going, the states are leading the way, Utah. Utah Department of Motor Vehicle Employees help convert. Yeah, I'm not surprised to see Utah. To be honest with you guys, I've seen Twitch in Utah, I believe. Um, so, yeah, let's take a look. While Utah lags in society, science and technology, grant money, the Beehive State Booming Tech scene, including the nation's seventh highest concentration of STEM talent, positions itself well as an AI takeoff. In March, government Spencer Cox signed the Utah. Artificial Intelligence Policy Act believed to be the first state law requiring companies to disclose to consumers if they are interacting with generative AI tools. Yeah, I, <laughs> funny story guys, like I was, um, I was on Instagram and I was looking at this chick and I thought she was so beautiful. And then I realized it was an AI picture of that woman. And so, <laughs> I think, you know, I, I definitely wanted more AI regulations and more transparency that you're looking at some of the AI because you, I think people are going to take that out of control, but whatever. Um, technology innovation ranked 32, business friendliness ranked 12, workforce ranked 16, college university. And yeah, Utah has Utah Jazz, so it's definitely a place, uh, basketball city, right? They have definitely a lot of people gathering there. If you are around Utah, and you want to get into computer science, you want to ride the AI wave, then look into moving to Utah. It's a good state. I'm surprised New York is number nine, man. I don't know if anybody from New York is in here. I would have thought New York would have been number four. Let's look at the rankings. The Empire State is trying hard to be a leader in AI. In April, government Kathy Huchel, the state legislator, established Empire AI. Build as the first of its kind consortium between the state and industry. The initiative includes $275 million in state funds to create an AI computing center in the University of Buffalo. I used to uh, work at a bank called MNT, and I was about to use, move to the University of Buffalo. So, yeah, definitely they got some money flowing over there. Already, New York has produced 48 AI models and is home to AI names, including a Luther AI hugging face, the research collaborative is sponsored big science to say it's going semiconductor industries, including giants like Micron technology, manufacturing under the construction of near Syracuse, also playing a role with New York getting a failing grade over the business friendliness is an attempt to take 
a more even-handed approach to AI. Colorado. Yeah, I'm not, uh, technology innovation rank is number one, okay. So New York is not a friendly pace to, uh, I guess, for business? Yeah, I guess it's oversaturated. I don't know if that's the way to, college universities, AI job posting 24. That's interesting. I really would have thought it would have been higher on the list. Colorado. I hear a lot of people, a lot of friends moving to Colorado. I wouldn't mind moving to Colorado. It doesn't seem like much is happening there, but definitely they have tech. They have uh, the legal, the legal, uh, what they call it, the grass. <laughs> but yeah, let's get into it. The Senior State Foray in AI regulation is drawing widespread attention. The Colorado AI Act takes a conference approach, which is emphasis on transparency to the consumer. And one or more thought provoking provisions, the law prohibits algorithm discrimination. Governor Jared Polis in signing statements that he was signing the law with the reservations, mostly involving the potential patchwork of state laws that industry has warned about. The law does not take effect until 2026 in part to allow legislators and policy makes to tweak it as new advances occur. I really think New York should be able to corral Colorado. I don't know why. Workforce rank. I guess maybe to start or uh, start a business over there is easier. Huh. It's easier in Colorado, I can believe that. I'm thinking, uh, I wonder if this list is for people that are, yeah, I guess looking for jobs in AI counts is everything. So Illinois, with no fewer than four of the world's most powerful supercomputers Argonne National Laboratories outside Chicago has become an important center of AI research. The lab says the artificial intelligence and machine learning have become major areas of interest for Argonne researchers. Illinois was an early mover in AI regula regulation enacting legislation in 2020 that includes restrictions on the use of AI in analyzing video recorded job interviews. Uh -huh. They have a lot of AI job postings like New York. And I guess they're just more friendly. Uh, Massachusetts. Yeah, Massachusetts High Technology Council, an influential organization representing the Bay State. Most cutting edge industry has placed AI at the heart of its Mass Vision 2050 initiative. A moral map for the next 25 years, in particular, the organization sees promise in AI roles in FinTech and healthcare. Two areas where state is already strong, AI related hiring in states is surging on one of the fastest patients in the nation. In the nation, the state has sought to add guardrails to protect consumers from unethical use of AI. So workforce rank bad. They have a lot of AI postings. So yep, I said Texas was up there. Not surprised. With this booming chick scepter. It is world-class workforce. Texas is an instant part of any conversation about AI. The state characterizes its hands-off approach to regulation and made desirable to business in general, but it has also provided little direction to AI fields when it needs it most. The Lone Star State is not ignoring these issues. However, Texas have, however, uh, wait, Texas House Speaker Dave Phelan appointed a select committee on artificial intelligence charged with making recommendations in next year's legislation session. So yeah. I'm actually, I wouldn't mind moving to Texas, guys. Like, it seems like, other than the heat, man, I've been there before. Other than the heat, it seems like a great place. Dell is however, a big remote company. Big in the computers might be a great place to build a career. I was actually in town there. But Virginia, Virginia Glenn Youngkin has taken a keen interest in AI, signing the executive order in January, laying out accepted uses for AI by the State of Education, Law Enforcement, Information Technology, and creating AI tax force to make recommendations every two years in the state. It says Virginia has been one of the most active regulators for AI, passing six to AI related bills. Virginia's best in the nation education system is feeding a strong pipeline of intelligent workers. Huh. Mm. 
I'll be right back, guys. I need to get some water. I am exhausted. All right, I am back. We got some more people in here. Maryland. The DMV is in here. I would have not have guessed the DMV would have been number the top three. The old line states has also been to the front lines of AI regulation. Like Illinois, Maryland has early in its restricting employers' use of artificial intelligence in the hiring process. More recently, Governor West Moore signed an executive order charting a path forward. The order establishes 10 member sub cabinet of states officials to develop a state strategy and lays out the set of principles to guide AI policymaking, including fairness and equity, innovation, privacy, safety, security, and resilience, reliability, and transparency. John Hopkins University Arts Center Advanced Research Computing in Hopkins is home to the Rockfish Computer Supercomputer, one of the most powerful in the world. Huh, you know Memphis has one of those supercomputers, man. Yeah. DMV is a high cost of living, so uh, but hey, maybe maybe when you guys get the AI jobs you'll be making so much money it won't matter. We, excuse me, <laughs> just by being Maryland or Washington, that is where I am currently based in. Just by being in home, just by being the home of Microsoft and Amazon, the Evergreen State has a huge presence in AI. Stanford says 22 AI models and counting were developed in Washington. The state has passed a number of AI laws, including limits on deep face, giving legal recourse, recourse to people whose images are used in AI generated porn. This year, the state legislature established an AI tax force to guide future regulation. Super happy with that. Yep. Hey, well, I'm here. And then they they say California is number one. But yeah, maybe California is going to get overpopulated again with all the people using the AI. As in so many aspects of technology, California is 800 pound gorilla of AI. It says Stanford Wall. California by far is the leader in the pack, he said, and it's not just by a bit, but significantly in comparison. Not only does California have an enormous wealth of research institutions like Stanford University of Berkeley and more, but it also has San Francisco, Silicon Valley, the home of Google, Meta, OpenAI, and W, and of course, NVIDIA. California companies and institutions are responsible for 100 AI models so far, including the Stanford report. Governor Gavin Newsom has been a major booster in technology, signing a sweeping executive order last year that he said was meant to ensure that California remains the industry lead leader. However, some are warning that California risk failing, falling into the familiar pattern with AI. The state is unpredictable when it comes to creating inertia leading tech companies, only to overregulate them later. A lot of the tech companies love to be here for a lot of reasons. The regulatory environment is not one of them. <laughs> Interesting. Tech net Linda Mort told Denma for last month. California has passed 13 AI related laws, most of which the industry has been on board with, but a sweeping bill authored by San Francisco State Senator Scott Weiner is getting pushback. Weiner, a Democrat, said the bill strikes a balance between sensible regulation and innovation. SB 1047 puts sensible guardrails in place with, against risk while leaving startups free to innovate without any new burdens, he said. For criticism it goes too far, such as safeguards against misuse the bill requires from developers. The bill also mirrors some existing provisions in President Biden's October executive order, order on AI. Winner acknowledged that the bill, which passed the state senate, is under consideration in the state assembly. It is a work in progress. Walt said that one of the most effective things the state can do at this stage is invest more in computer power and development talent. The state that actually investing all the uh, investing and allowing for people to go either into the industry or into the government to be able to help make difference in the state that I think is going to succeed. He said, for now, no state is succeeding in AI like California, but the race has barely begun. Interesting, interesting. So yeah, guys, if you are not in a city or uh, in these states, I recommend moving to one if you are serious about your career. I'm not saying that, yeah, I got I got into Twitch from Memphis, Tennessee, so maybe I am a proof that it's possible if you work hard enough, but I would, you know, maybe I could have been at Twitch a lot earlier at a, at a better company or sort of giving up jump starts in my career a lot faster if I would have been in one of those cities. Remember, uh, 
I was in New York when I went to Cornell and I got my degree and that's how I got my first job in the tech because I came, when I graduated from Fisk University, it was a similar period to right now. Nobody was hiring. We were in a down period and I, I went into the industry as a contractor and it really sucked. So, um, yeah, I think my final thoughts would be we should be really excited for AI. Don't be an AI doomer. I know how that feels to feel like everything that you love is going to be taken from under you. Like nobody has realized the future of their minds ever before. Nobody knows exactly what AI is going to look like. It could be, it just suck for a lot of people and can be great for everybody. But I truly believe that AI is going to be great for humanity and the problems that we're going to be able to solve and the, the problems, like the things that we can't look at. Like I am a fan of, of reforming the prisons. I feel like the American prison system is, is evil, <laughs> to put it simply. And I think if more people had time to, and didn't, could work a four hour a week with AI or whatever and make a living, we can have more time to focus on things that are more important, like making sure that every human being in the United States gets a fair opportunity to 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 have to have success. I really appreciate that AI is going to make education um, a lot easier for everyone. Like the rich and the poor will have the same field when it comes to learning. And so, but also, yeah, you just never know with AI. Like, let's take it one day at a time and um, probably gonna stay in one of these cities. But that is it. Let me know in the comments section if you enjoy this style of video or if you want to, um, you want more content like this, but peace.